Stephen Curry is going to leave Under Armour. This is the craziest thing I've ever seen in my life. Let's, let's see. How do you envision this relationship going forward, especially, you know, past your playing career and, and beyond? Yeah, if you look at uh, from 2013, when I had my first meeting in Charlotte uh, with the Under Armour team, like the vision was to, to build something unique and special to... Uh, Hold on, look at... <laughs> Look at Steph with the glitter on his shirt, man. This, you gotta respect. You gotta respect the fact that Steph has really held Under Armour down. And what's interesting is that they haven't been able to pull in another like signature athlete that's that they've been willing to give like a shoe deal to that wasn't under Stephen Curry. Like De'Aaron Fox is a good. You know, he's a great player. Honestly, they should just give him his own shoe. But they were just like, nah, we're just going to make this Curry brand and then it's going to be under Curry. Like, just give De'Aaron Fox his own shoe. Like, he has the potential to lead a team to a championship, in my opinion. So but we're going to see what he's talking about. I uh, kind of reflect what I wanted in the basketball space. Under Armour basketball was uh, babies at the time. And, you know, there's kind of just a, a white canvas of what do you want to build and, you know, built off my signature um, journey over the course of the first eight years, Curry brand launching in uh, 2021. And then thinking about, OK, you know, to your point, what is the, the legacy of this mm -hmm. this opportunity to, you know, we call it change the game for good and everything he just mentioned about, you know, you know product and, and innovation. So what is the plan to change it for good? Like, what are they going to do? Like, are they actually going to, like, you know, put more technology into their shoes? Because I'll be honest, the Currys be looking cool. I think what they could do is just make it a little more, like, lifestyle type. But I think their shoes are nice. I personally haven't gotten a pair, but they look cool. Being, you know, the driving force of that, um, I want to bring, bring people along, you know, the ride with me. And so, you know, obviously signing Deer and Fox last year was, it was a big deal, especially as an active athlete, to have mm -hmm. somebody that sees the same vision I have uh, mm -hmm. as an underdog who's trying to prove himself and take that next step. And he wants his, uh, you know, a product to, to do exactly what he needs to do to be the greatest basketball player he can be, but also has a vision of, um, you know, what he wants to do in the community as well. Uh, for me, that's a huge, huge deal. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, the community aspect is good. Like, especially for the NBA players, they can get back to the communities that they were a part of and their teams. So I think that's lit. I am just surprised, though, that De'Aaron Fox didn't actually get his own shoe. So, you know, that is... Because, look, we could just look up his stats real quick. Let's look up his stats. That's not De'Aaron Fox. Anyway. Actually, let's look up his stats right here. What did he get last year? He had basically 27, 6, and 5. And he's been doing those type of numbers for two years now. Like, and for real, like, he's been in this range for about four years. So, I'm not, and he's only 26. So, I would think that he... They got to put some respect on De'Aaron Fox's name, bro. Like, he's nice. And then he led the Kings to a playoff berth. Like, he's nice, bro. They got something going on in Sacramento. So, hopefully he can get some, you know, get some other pieces to be able to help him compete for a championship soon. This is the hopefully sustainable, you know, place of, like, how do we build this roster out? How do we expand in different sports? Mm -hmm. um, but go deeper into the innovation that we do best, like, I got, uh, I'm, I'm, obviously I'm up here, you, know, you see he's got the shoes on, like, mm -hmm. I'm in this thing, I just, I'm a part of the design. Okay, he's like, I'm in this thing, okay, okay, Steph. He's like, I'm locked in, I'm 10 toes down. That's what I respect about Steph. Steph is like, yo, like, I'm in. And he's been the underdog, like, throughout his career, and he's like, yo, like, I'm all in in this. So I respect that. And then the, uh, the evolution of, of the line, and I'm excited that this is something that we can continue even after I'm done playing basketball. That new headquarters. Okay, let me just look. I want to look at those that. Shoes. This is something that we can. Con those are pretty clean. I'm not going to lie. Like, maybe if the soles weren't so pronounced, 
continue even after I'm done like playing basketball. That new headquarters and moving. Seven. That we can continue even after I'm done playing basketball. Okay, those are. Uh, I'm not really feeling those. It's like the the outsole is just too much. She has some nice shoes on though. She got some nice toes. The white toes. Yeah, the nice. Nice basic orange heels, but those are they look good on her. <laughs> anyway. Um, okay, they have like the red and it goes with the the tongue. I'm not really feeling those, bro. I like these a little more. But it's just his outsole is not the nicest. Basketball. That new headquarters and moving forward with athlete relationships, is that those things that you're really looking forward to stepping back into the role? I mean, look, new headquarters, don't they don't sell shirts and shoes, so mm -hmm. that takes people. Yeah, so, I mean, my bad about this. I just think that if he just made the outsole a little bit thinner, then I think that his shoes would, like, take off for real. Because that was a nice colorway, and then if he would have just made the outsole like then, it would have been tough, in my opinion. Right. And that takes thoughtfulness, it takes strategy, it takes teamwork. Um, so, you know, culture is probably one of the most important things that we drive, and it's where I'm really focused right now is building a culture at Unreal, which, of course, it embodies, you know, the idea of winning, which is something Stefan brings, but it also embodies you're not going to win all the time. So when you get kicked, like, let's make sure we teach them how to get back up again. Mm -hmm. And if we're going to stand for somebody, you know, Under Armour's not old money. You know, there's people that have been doing this longer than we have. Mm -hmm. But, you know, we've put ourselves on the stage, we're in a position, and, you know, we're in the fight. Okay, I respect that. I respect that. There's another one that I do want to react to um, that talks about Stephen Curry. But I respect that though. Like they're in, like they're they're saying that they're in it for the long haul. Like as far as you know, just being involved with the shoe game and apparel business like you got to respect that bro okay unfortunately it's not here so i thought that it was going to be here but yeah y'all comment below let me know what you think about stephen curry and uh you know his plans okay now here it is here we have a question from the audience what can we expect from under armor and steph for the all-star game 2025 well, first and foremost, Under Armour and I'm like the partnership, they've seen, you know, exactly how uh, and supported me every way I, they can when it comes to uh, like court refurbishments that we've done. All th Yo, shout out Steph, too. He has a little gray hairs, bro. I wish I had some gray hairs. That means he's wise and he's living a good life. Throughout, you know, the Bay Area, uh, it's a big part of my, me and my wife's foundation. Um, and they've been so consistent in, in terms of, you know, backing it up and saying, yeah, we want to be you know, right there with you. And so we're doing a huge uh, project through the Oakland Unified <laughs> School District that's going to be a big deal. Um, but it's cool that, what are we, six months out from that? We just want to dominate the weekend. Uh, mm -hmm. It's the Bay Area. It's my home. It's my Stephen Curry is just like a silent killer. Like, he's just like, he just has that dog in him. But he's not like really like showing it. But he he got that he got that killer mentality, man. Steph got that Steph got that dog in him. My 16th year in the league, um, and, and be on stage that way. So uh, outside of the court refurbishment, a lot of other that stuff is going to be surprises for the, for uh, Austin. But I'm I'm going. I want to go big for sure. Well, we got we got a lot to live up to. I mean, Indianapolis. We had Steph's fun house. We did a big thing. Uh, for last year's NBA All-Star Game, but just getting in that rhythm, making sure that people are ready to expect for us to show up on the court. Um, mm -hmm. I think that's one thing that matters is that people letting, I think today's a great message as well, is that like Under Armour, we're, we're ready to play. I mm -hmm. think that we've, um, we've, lived, we've learned a lot. We've been a public company in 19. They're ready to play, man. They're ready to take off. I guess it's because it's like, maybe there's like some turnover with Nike. I think like Phil Knight is getting older, so. They're like, yo, we've been waiting this time. Like, now we're trying to go up. So we'll see. They just need, like, another athlete. And they need to start giving other people deals. Like, and maybe they should just focus on basketball, you know, um, instead of, like, focusing on other sports like Nike and Adidas. They kind of have, like, um, the wide range. But if they just focus on basketball, they may be better. 15 years in business, nearly 29 at this point. 
Um, you get to see a lot of things, you get to see a lot of experience, and the ability to apply that to this next chapter, you get to see, we've been a public company 19 years in business, nearly 29 at this point. Dude, they've only been in business for 30 years. That's pretty crazy, like, they have some good growth potential in the future. Um, you get to see a lot of things, you get to see a lot of experience, and the ability to apply that to this next chapter and be able to utilize, I think, this incredible stable of just great people, um, amazing talent, um, and inspirational stories. And by story, I mean, we haven't done a good enough job yet telling Stefan's story through Curry Brand. And I think it's one thing where, you know, we have five emphasis of, of the categories of business we're gonna get after. Basketball is square in the middle of it, and the reason for that is our partnership with Stefan Curry. So we appreciate you, partner. You're yes, great man. And we got some good things coming. We're so. expecting some big things then. Oh, we're gonna be in the fight. Yeah. We're gonna be in the fight. Okay, so he's used that we're going to be in the fight for two times. So, and it, this is a good thing. It seemed like they rock with each other. They got a decent relationship. So, we'll see where this goes after Steph retires in probably about like two to three years. So, we'll see, man. All right, peace. Comment below what you think and like and subscribe for the algorithm and um, and comment and share it with your friends and family. All right, peace.